Hello guys, this is me Prino from Android Noobs. Today I'm here with a review of top 10 lock screen apps for any Android phones. So without any further ado, let's begin. So the 10th place in this app list goes to ZY Locker. So, so there's there are some things special about it. So let's first see how to unlock this. This is a swipe to unlock unlock kind of a lock screen. And if you pull it down from here, you get a small quick control panel quick with quick toggles. So these do come in handy and this it even comes with a RAM boost and the recently run dabs. So that's quite handy if you want to use anything from the lock screen itself. And there's another feature, just for example this phone's up and you remove it from your pocket. So if there isn't an, any unread notification, it turns on. Oh actually I did see that notification. So it turns on, like here I have a, an unread notification, so it, it turns on. So this, uh, this lock screen comes in ZUI locker. This comes in at the 10th place in our current review. It has some more features like lock status bar that wouldn't allow the status bar to come down and control panel style as I've shown you as quick control panel shows up you can even select a rainbow colored one I, that my personal is going to be pure you can even edit a booster ignore list quick launch apps you can add the ones you want it's not like restricted to what they give you gravity animation so it works a lot ways double tap to sleep on the lock screen so this this comes with a quick uh, customization features and the ZUI locker has has the buck in the bang in the 10th place so next in the 9th position comes the go locker so go locker uh, doesn't do anything much special the only thing is you get different kinds of themes so for example here i have a lock screen which might seem confusing at first so if i want to open the camera i swipe down on the camera if i want to go a call on the call if i want to message a message if i want to unlock the screen just push that up that's it so it comes with many themes available so let us try another one to give you a demonstration so let us try this one uh, this one that looks good and let us apply this boom it's applying and let's see how this turns up it ought to be good boom it has been applied see so so you have got another theme and you just need to figure out how to unlock this see uh, this ball I we don't even know that we have to do this so each theme comes with a unique style of unlocking so that's what put this ROM in the ninth place this is for the people who like to like stress along with the lock screen play with the lock screens and unlock it different times each each time different way so just to unlock it to call up to message down and to unlock left boom the phone's unlocked so there are many more themes available the new ones as you can see the list is unlimited and even you get there's a goal launcher available so let us go for the lock screen first so this is the goal locker right here just do that and see all the customization options available so this the themes and customization a makes go lock go locker in the ninth place in the eighth position comes the locker master so this is kind of like a go locker with a different theme style different unlocking way each theme you set for example here i have to click on the correct pattern of lock screens which i have set like one two three Oh, boom that's unlock your screen and sir there is a little bit of extra customizability here you get a control panel to the left side which controls your Wi-Fi sound mobile data torch and Bluetooth you can even control your brightness from here and even see the amount of RAM left and also the quick toggles here so just a, and and a unique feature is if you are in an emergency and you need to unlock the phone and you do forgot the part password it has an emergency unlock feature by pressing up down up down up down up down up down here yeah, boom that's unlocked so if you are in an emergency situation and forgot your passcode, this is gonna help you a lot. So this is the app Locker Master and it has some additional settings. Like you can view at least up to 6 apps notifications. Let us see if I am able to view. Am I am supposed to be viewing it here? Maybe. Even the key bar is this status bar is locked around here. And I am unable to see any kind of notifications. So guys. So you are supposed to see notifications if you got them. I haven't got any notifications, so I'm unable to show you. So this is Locker Master. Locker Locker Master and this takes this eighth eighth 
position and our lock screen apps. Next in the seventh position is the next locker. Name's catchy, right? So the name of this is next lock next locker, and I have selected put it this in the seventh position as it's quite unique. You ask me how? So you drag it from down, you get the quick apps toggle, you get the location turn and on and off, brightness and all that. And to unlock this, you have to put it from up to down. Now, like that's unique, right? Don't you think so? Most of the phones like up, down, jab, and left, right. For the camera from right side and for the location, uh, is this supposed to do something? Yeah. Where am I now? Set the location. So this is a quick, see, I've got a notification and even the notification pops up here. So later. So, so this is the next locker, as you can see here. Next locker. So first you need to enable the lock screen, screen lock. The, there are some display settings here. And also the alarm, light up screen on notification. So if you get a notification, the lock screen pops up. Missed call notification. You can enable what the app has access to and what the what it doesn't. So this is what makes this app in the seventh position the uniqueness of the next locker. In the sixth place comes the slide locker. So this locker tries to imitate the uh, look and feel of the iPhone. So to unlock, you need to swipe right, and if you swipe from the left, you get the, from if you swipe from the right, you get the camera, and if you do it from the top, you get a quick toggles imitating a little bit of the iPhone. So this also has the recent apps, you can change the wallpaper from here, you can change the brightness and all that. So let us look into the app itself without any further ado. So, so this is the app, slide locker, slide lock. So let's open that up. So it, it, ha it has permission for some apps, which apps notification pop up on the screen. You can change the wallpaper from here. So there are many recommended wallpapers, let us pick this up for now. It's supposed to be looking good, right? It automatically cropped it, boom, it's set up. So let us look at the lock screen settings. So turn off lock screen. So you have a system lock screen, right? To turn that off, if you turn, if you don't turn that off, you're going to get a double lock screen. So that's what this app suggests, turn it off. So lock stick, if you want, you can set up any pattern. So with the, all the other apps, you can hide the status bar, battery percentage, and etc, etc, many more settings you can figure out yourself. So the, for the few people who have moved from the iPhone and missed the lock, the traditional lock screen of iPhone, this is for them. Change the wallpaper and boom, it looks almost like an iPhone. It would be hard to distinguish, I'd say. So this is for the people who like iPhone. Yeah. Quick toggles here. And swipe to unlock. So this is what, this slide locker takes the position in the sixth place. This lock screen is especially for the new screen. News Greeks in the in the fifth place. This is the next news lock screen. So what basically this lock screen is? It does not have anything special. It lock, lock, says by everything is accessible. But the only thing is, you get to watch news on your lock screen. You get to read it. You swipe right to get the new news, new news, new new every time. And if you want to read something, like this protest artist, press and hold it and boom, the news opens and you can read the whole thing. For the guys who are news freaky. And if you want to unlock the screen, hold this bubble and boom. So, so what this brings in the fifth place is the news option. This is the, for the people who love to read news, a lot of news, right from here. Like volcanoes almost certainly didn't kill off the dinosaurs. <laughs> that's a good joke. <laughs> so things like that. So that's what brings us in the fifth place. So let us look at the settings of this ROM, of the next news, this one. So here are some categories. You can select the categories in which you are interested in for technology news, games for me. So you can s do anything, settings, preferred Wi-Fi. So you can even update the news on Wi-Fi or mobile network, it's up to you. No recommendations, which app recommend, etc, etc. You can even get some themes also for the premium. So as the news, next news comes in at the fifth place. Fourth position, we have the CM locker. So this is another locker that tries to imitate the iPhone lock screen, but it is far more better in that. So if you pull it down from up, from down, you get all, you get a uh, status bar type of thing, control panel, similar to that on the iPhone one, a lot more similar. And if you swipe from the right, you get the weather information from here, and daily forecast details or oh, weather information totally. And to unlock it, swipe to the right. So let us see what are all the customizations offered by this. 
So there are themes available for this as well. Let us try this one. Lion one. I have this. I have applied that and boom. So see how cool this looks. So so the exact Im the imitation of the iOS lock screen has put the CM locker in the fourth place. So in the third place we have got the AC display lock screen. So this is a lock screen which claims to have evolved the notifications. So let us see. So when you open the lock screen up, so all the lo all the notifications which you get are popped down to the, this size. And if you click on any one of them, you can get a glance. So I've got a test notification from it, saying uh, swipe down to dismiss notification, swipe anywhere to unlock. So there's a WhatsApp message for me. I have messaged myself. So I click on that to get a glance of it, and I swipe it somewhere like this. Oh, swipe down to disable. And to unlock the to unlock the phone, we have to swipe up. That's it. So the way it controls the notifications, that's quite impressive. As you can see. I just love the feel of that. Like all the notifications on the lock screen, single tap. And it even has a security, I believe. Some kind of security lock screen. Uh, doesn't look like it has any security. But let us look at the other, other things. So we can set the icon size, full screen modes, all the other features which it'd be better you check that out so in the notification you can even put it on a quick glance so if there are many notifications when you turn the screen on it pops up with one notification open like this it's supposed to do that it didn't do that now and I have only one notification left so guys the the way this controls the notification has put the AC display in the third place we look at the lock screen name Semper so you might wonder what Put this lock screen in the second place apart from all that so this specific lock screen is the brain people brainy people who like to play around with the lock screen so what it actually does is when you turn on the phone it puts up a question uh, for now like it has many subjects like max French English I just for the test I put it up in English so it gives a word discern so we need to find out the meaning of it I don't know the meaning of it just let me Swipe on the first, click on the first. Separate, identify. So slide on this to answer. Boom, it's correct answer. So that's the way it works. And suppose if you don't know the answer or or if you are in a hurry, just slide up. It opens up, that's it. And it even imitates the lock screen of the cyanogen. If you properly look at it. See? From right you get the lock camera, from left you get whatever setup, you can set it up, set up whatever you want. So let us look at the customization this Semper offers. So first before that let us, this is the app, Semper. So let us look for all the customizations available. So you can put it on the lock screen, you can put it on the loading screen, you can even see the pronunciations it offers and you can even check the progress you have made yet. So yeah, effortless learning, you can even set a goal to all that. So this is for the guys who like playing games on the lock screen to give their brain a little bit of training. The top position, according to me, goes to high locker. So this locker I felt is very convenient to use. Just let me show you how this works. Open it up. And this is how it opens. It puts all the notifications neatly here. Like I have installed the app. I put it here. Just swipe it to delete it. So swipe to open it. Boom. And if I swipe left, maybe that is supposed, yeah. So swipe left and notification deletes. It even will greets me. Hello, Pranav. That's cool. And to unlock, you need to go from here. You have some quick toggles. Camera, Chrome, unlock, message, and call. And if you put night, you can add some events. Like, you want to do something, you add an event. It shows up here without opening the phone. There's nothing to the left. And if you pull from top, the stage bar opens up. So let us see at what settings this has to offer. To the top place, high locker. So it has what's next? Unlock style, classic, lollipop, iOS. Let us see how this lollipop looks like. So this lollipop is, boom, this is the normal one which we get. As you can see the lollipop version. So let us see the iOS. It is supposed to be the swipe one. Oh, you have to upgrade it for that. So the defaultly available are the classic and the, that. You can say the clock style. Ah. Oh. There it is, that's so cool. Weather, notification, shortcut, and many more. So all these features and the customization and the conveniency put this ROM in the first place. So thank you very much for watching this watching this video guys. Please make sure to like this video. 
like hit the like button please and subscribe thank you for watching this video guys this is me pranav from android noobs signing off